A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a decisive move to prevent a government shutdown, the U.S. Congress passed a stopgap funding bill on Wednesday that will keep federal operations running through December 20th. The measure, which received strong bipartisan support, was sent to President Joe Biden's desk just ahead of the September 30th deadline, ensuring that federal agencies will remain operational as the nation gears up for the November elections. The legislation was approved in a pair of swift votes in both the House of Representatives and the Senate. In the Senate, the bill passed with a vote count of 78 to 18, with all opposing votes coming from Republican senators. The House followed suit, approving the bill with a vote of 341 to 82, where a significant majority of Democrats and a substantial number of Republicans came together to support the measure. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer expressed relief that bipartisanship prevailed, stating, it is a relief for the country that once again, bipartisanship prevailed to stop another shutdown threat. He acknowledged the delay in reaching an agreement but credited House Republicans for ultimately collaborating with Democrats to get the job done. The stopgap measure, also known as a continuing resolution, extends federal funding at current spending levels, effectively postponing more contentious budget discussions until after the elections. The bill also includes approximately $230 million in additional funding for the U.S. Secret Service, a response to recent security concerns following two assassination attempts against former President Donald Trump. House Speaker Mike Johnson, who faced opposition from a faction of conservative Republicans, emphasized the importance of avoiding a government shutdown, labeling it political malpractice. He noted that while there is dissatisfaction with continuing resolutions, the current situation was the only viable option to ensure government operations continued. The urgency of the situation was palpable, as lawmakers were eager to return to their districts to campaign ahead of the November 5th elections. The passage of the bill allows them to focus on their electoral efforts without the looming threat of a government shutdown distracting from their campaigns. Johnson had initially sought to advance a more extended six-month funding measure paired with a controversial non-citizen voting requirement, but that effort was rejected. Faced with limited options and significant opposition to more partisan measures, he opted for the cleaner, shorter stopgap bill that received broad bipartisan support. This legislative maneuvering reflects the challenges that the Republican leadership faces in a House with a slim majority and a vocal conservative faction that often disrupts party unity. The reliance on Democratic support to pass must-pass legislation has become a recurring theme in this Congress, much to the chagrin of some Republican members. As the House and Senate prepare to depart for a lengthy recess, the passage of this three-month funding bill sets the stage for a critical return after the elections. Lawmakers will face a pre-holiday deadline to finalize funding and avoid another potential shutdown. Looking ahead, Speaker Johnson has made it clear that he opposes the traditional practice of passing a massive omnibus spending bill during the holiday season. Instead, he is advocating for the passage of individual appropriations bills that would provide full-year funding for federal programs. Johnson urged his Senate colleagues to expedite their work on appropriations to facilitate a smoother legislative process upon their return. Senate Majority Leader Schumer echoed this sentiment, stating that the extension would provide appropriators with the necessary time to finalize funding before the end of the year. He expressed hope that the bipartisan cooperation seen in passing the stopgap measure could set a precedent for more constructive negotiations moving forward. The passage of this funding bill has temporarily alleviated the immediate threat of a government shutdown, but it has also delayed the inevitable discussions surrounding full-year funding levels. With the elections approaching, the focus for many lawmakers will shift to their campaigns, while the complexities of the federal budget remain unresolved. In summary, Congress has successfully averted a government shutdown by passing a bipartisan stopgap funding bill that will keep the government operational through December 20th. The legislation highlights the ability of lawmakers to work across party lines, even in a politically charged environment, while also underscoring the challenges that lie ahead as they prepare for a more extensive budget negotiation process after the elections. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.